Oh, uh, look! Look, it's a let's good game. Of, yeah, let's put the meme all the way. It's Knack, baby. Now oh, yeah. never mind. We're doing Knack. I thought we were doing a good platform with Sonic Mania, but... Uh... Or Dark Souls, the scholar of the first scene, which Sorry. I've seen Pedro playing this. Well, uh... Toba, you're the one recording this one. Well, that's... Well, Toba, I'm... It was given to me, so I figured... I guess, <laughs> so... I, I guess I can play it again to see if this version is better. So riddle me this, Pedro. What happens when Mark Cerny is in charge of Japan Studio for a supposed platformer? Okay, for those who don't know who Mark Cerny is, he's kind of an industry legend. He worked on a lot of great games. He was actually in back in Sega of America back in the day, and he worked on Sonic 2. He worked on Kid Chameleon. And he worked... And later on, he went on to work with Naughty Dog and Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter. He worked with Insomniac and Spyro and various Ratchet and Clank games. Wow, so he uh, had both Crash and Spyro and Ratchet and Clank all under his resume. He also he, is, he was also the executive producer for Last Guardian, and he's now the technical producer for Death Stranding. He's helping out uh, Kojima. So with comes the, PS4. the PlayStation 4, which was uh, designed kind of by him as well. And we need a launch title, among other things like Killzone Liberation. So he decides, let's use something that can show how the PS4 can show all these polygons and forms and emotions. Yes, let's make it a robot out of Toblerone. Basically, the, the reason Knack is literally a bunch of little pieces is because um, Mark wanted to show off that his console, uh, for those who don't know, he was also the lead engineer for this console. Um, he wanted to show off that his console could render a lot of uh, tiny objects at once. And to be fair, yes, it is kind of technically impressive. The problem is that the game itself, it, uh, it, it doesn't, it, 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 it's, it's, it barely rises above the quality of your typical tech demo. Like, okay, 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 folks, you know, uh, so the wait, game starts. there's a story. Yes, there is, a, yes, there is a story uh, written by Mark Cerny himself. In a world where goblins apparently can fight you know, I'm sorry, did I did I get into a cartoonish version of Warhammer 40k? Yeah. Like, it a cartoony version of War. All right, you know we might as well address one of the elephants in the room here. Knack was, and this is actually confirmed by Shuehei Yoshida himself, Knack was pitched as Crash Bandicoot for the PS4 at the time. Yes, Mark wanted to make a new, a new Type cartoon B, platformer uh, uh, that would be kind of a spiritual successor to that. Uh, this was supposed to be Sony's new mascot. Their new cartoony platformer to show we can problem, totally though. do cartoony platformers. Watch it. Yeah. Watch you, Jova, as he will still be in PlayStation Hold Star Battle Royale 2. All right, Dwebs, I want you to pay attention and try to guess who crash. is the villain of the people among in this room. There have progressed from being a minor nuisance to somehow being able to take down a highly fortified outpost. Thank you all for coming on such short notice, and Doctor. Thank you for hosting and this gathering. No. How did these guys Joe, is that you? Such a short time from bows and arrows to tanks. The woman and guns. talking. Tio, I didn't know Angry Joe uh, went on to be a doctor. You don't know him when he sees it. Let's just leave it that for now. expedition to discover whatever we can. Do we have any volunteers? The Crags, huh? Oh, hi, Matthew Mercer. Mercer. Goblin country. I can get you all in. He's playing Nathan Drake. Are you Drake. sure he's more Matthew Mercer? He sounds like him, I guess. Oh, oh, he is. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, Dwayne. What do you think? Well, he has what? an evil mustache and he's a billionaire and he well, wears that outfit. <laughs> oh, and by the way, like Lex Luthor, he has, uh, he has a female security guard like Mercy Graves. Yes. The high-tech armaments of these robots He's basically Lex Luthor light. That's basically what he is. Any also, these models really don't look PS4 to me. It, remember, this was yeah. a. This was, uh, uh, it looks like it looks like mid. -PS4. Oh wait, hold on! Yes. Best character in the game, yes. Lucas, voiced by Josh yes. Keaton, and I'm not kidding. Yes. He is the best, yes. smartest character, yes. and he's he supposed the only to be the character in this game that actually has a brain, as you as you'll learn in, in time. Remind me immediately, Pedro. The adventure is called Rider, right? Uh, Ryder, yeah. yes. Hey, it's Travis Willingham. Oh, okay then. I don't know, for some reason it just sounded kind of to me like him. And yes, folks, you may notice that for all things... All right. the I, I actually kind of like the idea of this bit. Basically, the tutorial of the game is essentially a technical demonstration show to the others. So it kind of incorporated slowly, story and gameplay. It, on the paper, that sounds like the best way to introduce your game. 
On practice. Uh, Take it away, Pedro. Okay. What you see before you so, uh, well, before I do that, I want to yeah. give a little um, sum up of what the story. Basically, there are goblins who decided to attack one of the human settlements. And that woman, who I'm guessing is the president, I don't know, they never explained kinda who the like hell she is. It's kinda like in Vanquish, only she and, doesn't suicide herself. And from this point, and, and, and after this particular prologue, she disappears from the game up until the last cutscene, so I don't know who she is. You know, so basically, oh God. Uh, hold on, Joe. Uh, basically, um, we have to find some volunteers to try to infiltrate goblin country so we can try to find out how did they get all these powerful weapons that they shouldn't really have. Um, and the volunteers are Dr. Vargas, aka the creator of NAC, and Victor, billionaire industrialist and absolutely fucking retarded person. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, uh, so like Teo said, uh, Vargas is like, okay, I have a suggestion. I want to show you something. So obviously he's trying to demonstrate that Knack is a powerful being who can help them with the goblin. Uh, here's the problem. Uh, this game has a big pulsating problem, especially if you're playing on the harder difficulty. Fortunately, I'm playing on easy mode, so that can, you know, so it's much easier there. But uh, let's just say one of the big problems with this game is that it's stupidly easy to die. Let's just say there's a good reason why I'm trying my best not to get hit. Because mm. when little Knack can take like two hits, maybe three, and then he'll die. And trust me, it doesn't seem that bad now because right now the ro these robots that we're practicing on are really easy to avoid. But trust me, it gets worse. Now, let me bring up problem number one with this. You're probably thinking, wait, this sounds more like a beat em up than a platformer. Well, uh, Pedro, um, how much platforming is actually in this game compared to beating up I'm stuff? I'm pretty sure only 10% of this game consists of actual platforming. And let me remind you, back in the day, this was this being sealed as is the a new. Game. This was supposed to be the new Crash Bandicoot. Again, quoting from Mark Cerny, the guy who worked on so many of those platformers. Am I the only one seeing something wrong here? Yeah. And, and the interesting thing, yeah, and the interesting thing is that they took that complaint to heart and put in a lot of platforming in the sequel. But right now we're looking at this. We'll yeah. Get to this. yeah. Now, um, about the woman who was talking earlier, she's apparently the chairwoman, and apparently she seems, oh, okay. and apparently she's voiced by the same woman who voices Katrina, the uh, female bodyguard. Guess who's the voice yeah. actress? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not Laura, because Laura voices another character. No, 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 no. Yeah. Nope, Jennifer, oh, Jennifer freaking Hale. Well, Jenny, okay. come on. That, Jesus, that's, that's kind of a pot shot, because Jennifer Hale voices almost everything. Well, remember, though, this was back in, like, uh... 2013. 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, back so in the day, she was something. doing more so yeah, yeah, movies yeah. going. Uh, the game, yeah. Also, the doctor is also explaining some of the some why what are the the, the, the 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 relics. Basically, everything in this particular universe is powered by the relics. What are the relics? The, those tiny little things that Knack is made of. Basically, everything in this game is powered by relics. Uh, it's this world's most primary um resource. Yeah. So yeah. here's my question. It's the We're... Blastia of this game. Here's the <laughs> Fortunately they don't talk as much about us to talk about Blastia, but I'm veering off the topic. Here's the point is oh, go on. Uh, hold on, let me just finish. Um Okay, here's the gimmick of the game. The gimmick of the game is that the more relics Knack absorbs into his body, the bigger he gets. And the bigger his life bar gets. Um and the more powerful he gets the, and stuff like that. So it, which isn't a pretty, like Teo would say, it's a pretty interesting idea on paper. The problem is that this 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 particular concept will not be executed all well until the sequel. Well, so, yeah. yeah. As for why, folks, we'll just wait until Knack actually starts getting bigger for you to see why. Yeah, I'd like to also mention something. Did you notice, uh, in audience, you probably wondered that I got hurt? Well, let's just say, be thankful that I'm playing on easy mode, because let's just say the normal mode is a gigantic Jump in difficulty from easy mode. A bit bigger. Let's just say medium Knack. Knack. By the way, who the hell voices Knack? Because I can't for the life of me figure out who the hell the voice actor is. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Ike Amadi. Ike Amadi. Who the hell is he? He's AK. I. Oh, he was in Mass Effect 3, Halo 5, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let me check what he also did. He was in Halo. Oh no. There's oh, also quite, oh no. Pedro, I got bad well, news. What, what is it? 
I but... think Knack might have been the game that was starting to put him on the map. Oh goody. I anyway. mean, I mean, oh, I mean, he was. That. He was the in some other. The to see in, uh, in Justice 2. Yeah, he was in some other stuff, including a Lord of the Rings video game tie-in and God help him, Mass Effect 3. But Nax seems to be where his good stuff actually starts. That's sad. Well, wait, hold on. He was actually an additional voice in Grand Theft Auto 5, but not really. Yeah, yeah, another thing. Thing. yeah just, uh, just uh, I think Perry's about to mention. The bigger you get. Uh... The enemy obviously adequates sticks, but let's just say they adequates in a dickish way. Yeah, it does. Uh, I, I, I was gonna bring that up later because it's not as apparent now as it will be later. But one thing I'll bring up is, um, it's uh, this. Okay, you probably think, okay, this. So this is not an actual platformer; it's more of a beat em up. Okay, sure, I like beat em ups, Pedro. What's wrong with that? Well, here's the problem. This even this is a bad beat em up. Here's your attacks. You have you mash the square button three times for a for a free combo punch, you press square during the jump to do a little smash attack, and that's and that's it, really. Uh, aside from that, aside from that, you have. Oh, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. Uh, actually, Gio, I'm gonna, gonna argue that Sonic have... Boom, Rise of Lyric had even more combat prowess, right, but I'll save that for later. Beam. Yeah, the Sunstones actually. Okay, whenever Knack connects Sunstone Energy, which the game never explains what the hell this is, so. It's the MacGuffin, it's the energy thingy. Um, so yeah, when it accumulates energy, it can do a super move, which is this big shockwave. And that's literally it. That's your moveset. Uh, you're probably wondering, Pedro, this game is like 10 hours long. That, that seems like it will be quite, going to get quite repetitive as, as it goes along. Well, it does, because the, the moves you have are very limited. And trust me, the, considering there's literally nothing to this game aside from battling enemies, there's like a couple platforming sections, but they're way too few and way too in between. So most 90% of the time in this game, you'll be doing nothing but defeating enemies. But with Pedro. the exact same free square combo over and over and over and over. But Pedro, what about all the power-ups? But later, <laughs> for another time. Right, later. <laughs> I'll, ta I'll talk about time. I'll talk yeah. about the power, the quote-unquote power ups. There's all, there's oh, another thing. You may have noticed that Nak, as it shows, changes size constantly. Here's the problem: as the tutorial pretty much made you clear, and the level made clear again, Nak has to revert to his base form constantly every like five steps, and he needs to get bigger yet again without getting back the relics that he just left behind. Granted, you can recover them in the sequel, but once again, this is like an function that actually holds your progress. Eh, and the problem... Oh, trust me, Teo, the game will find out the most stupid story excuses just to have start to every single level with Little Knack. Speaking yeah. of story excuses, okay, you know, let's get into another problem here. Now, normally this isn't a legit problem, but here it definitely is. The gameplay and story segregations. This is one of those games where it crosses the line. Okay, so basically, what is Neck? He's technically a living magnet that, is, you know, constantly attracts all the these relic to, pieces. Well, th there is going to be a more clear explanation of what exactly Neck is, but again, we'll wait till the game actually gets to it. Basically, though, here's the deal, though. Apparently, if you get hit enough, you die. Um, I won't go too much into depth why that makes no sense, but I'm just going to let you know it really doesn't. Like that Lord Judd once said in his review, the, 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 he has the ability to recover all the relics uh, around him, so it, it would make a lot more sense if he just recovered the relics like he does in the sequel. Yeah, in this, but it's not even overpowered in the sequel. We find a way to balance it correctly. Most anyway, let's hear the results. You call it Knack, is that right? Actually. I call myself Nack. Yeah, here's a real stupid okay. thing. For some uh, reason... Uh, hold on. He seems a little delicate to me. <laughs> there, there you go! A statement of a sanctuary. I know, right? Than those slow -moving and trust me, everybody, it doesn't but seem that obvious now, but that's the only because I'm, I literally am doing a conscious effort to play on easy mode, because trust me, anything other than easy mode will be a frustrating experience to you. Actually, even easy mode can be frustrating. Like... It can, and not, it, it can. Yeah. Not as much as the That's others, but it can joy. still have be quite thickish sometimes. Now, here's a weird thing. For some reason, whenever he's bigger, that can talk. But when he's in his starting size, he can't talk. That is Actually, he can talk. Actually, really? he can talk all. 
He can't oh. talk always. The only I, yeah, the only time it. he cannot talk is Let's when the core it. him itself is has no relics. But yeah. you, you'll see for yourself as the game goes. Well, on. that's why I me mean. is like All whenever right, he's that's like. Be a bigger robot, yeah. I guess. So for the for the record, what's happening now? Victor is not convinced that Knack is powerful enough to be of use. So he wants to test him out against his security robot. So now we have to beat the shit out of, out of Victor's security robots. Uh, I have to wonder, why couldn't we find a test that's a, that would be a little less expensive and little uh, more about wasting powerful robots that could be useful against the goblins, but what do I know? You know, I'm just gonna say this right now, we're like this long into the story. Now look, I get it, you know, but we don't always- To be fair, we're still only 15 minutes in, but- well, what I'm saying is, like, well, you'd think that they would have started off by explaining what Knack is. Like, well, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Maybe it's just like... compared that the story was an afterthought, sadly. Which is weird because of how much of a role the story plays in this, it ironically. Does. But, yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, this is another one of the super moves, where I can throw shockwaves at the enemies that are far away from me. See, the problem with the, the problem with the super, yeah, you have the super moves, the problem is that the super moves uh, waste an entire meter of crystal, oh, here we go, here's the power up set to voice Oh boy, here we go, I forget what okay. the first one is uh, we look at. Alright, allow me. You don't, okay, you found a hidden item, you can also choose the same type of item as one of your friends found here. So basically, if you have, if you have a position for connected online, you can share items with your friend. Which is I'm useless, not, mind gonna... you, when I ever tried it, because, well, let's just say... It's a glorified extra at best. Gadgets. If you, if you collect all the required parts, Knack can construct and use special gadgets. So, okay, <laughs> let me explain this. Okay, like I said, each gadget that is possible to get in the game requires a set number of parts. Five, seven, whatever. Uh, you ha in order to get them, you have to find the hidden treasure chests over the course of the level. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? Here's the problem. Every time you open a treasure chest, the item that you get is completely random. RNG, yep. everyone. Which means that... Unless you get really lucky, and I actually did towards the end of this playthrough. Unless you get really, really lucky and happen to get all the necessary parts for one gadget, uh, you'll most likely never see a single gadget complete until a, until a second playthrough. And even when you yeah. do get the gadgets completed, they do like what? They allow you to absorb uh, more of those relics than possible, no. like no, the, the one I got, the one I got has a little thingy that shows me when relics are near, but I didn't get any others aside from that. What I'm and, saying is uh, like, well, from the few gadgets I ever managed to get, they're glorified extras, honestly. I mean, granted, I don't know about them all, but... Okay. Eh. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, also, Dwebs, to answer your question from earlier, uh, this game was already, even by the developer's own admission, that this game was rushed to meet the launch uh, lineup. So, mm -hmm. and that's probably and that's probably a reason why the game looks PS3 tier rather than PS4 tier. Honestly, though, no. I mean, that really shouldn't go because you know they spend all this time with every single little particle for that. Then he built the bloody thing. Yeah. Well, and... well Knack 2 looks that'd, 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 be, that'd, be like um, that'd be like if whoever made the Switch made a game for the console that looked like a Wii game. Mm -hmm. You mean Koizumi? Um... And when it comes to Knack 2 looking better, well, yeah, at this point, they'd have even a little bit less excuse. Um, no, no, I meant it as the graphical quality of a Wii game. You mean the sniper clip, sir? See, the thing is, we have... the, the... the 2D thing, isn't it? Well, see, well, the thing is, but... here's the problem with this. The problem with, with the, the, the way this game uses the PS4 capabilities is that it uses them on a technical level, not on an aspect visual level. By that I mean, not next body. Next body is rendering a shit ton of minor objects at the same time. And that's something that's actually uh, only the PS4 can do. The problem is, as, as you know, uh, it's something that only is impressive if you're a technical whiz who knows uh, that this is supposed to be impressive. Like on a on a basic visual appeal level, Knack just looks like a pile of shit. And you know yeah. they're showing off. Oh, we can have all these cool particles. Name for me ten other games that really use the fact that you can have this many particles. Like. Well... At launch title, not as necessary as particles, but for example, the infamous Second Son loves to use neon technology to showcase the neon potential of the PS4, for example. Yeah, but that's neon. I'm talking specifically about well, what this I'm game saying, is. Well, of course, the polygons and everything, but I mean, launch titles for the PS4 tried to squeeze in 
the new mechanics uh, in different ways. Black was the Polygon, Infamous was uh, the Neon, Ever was Killzone, though I think it was just graphical boost. Next. Couldn't we find a, a, more, a, 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 a way to test Nag that doesn't involve destroying robots that can be useful against the goblins? Uh, never mind that, they're also destroying cars saying, when, in the area. Not just that, when, you, when you're saying like that, it's almost as if you're saying that Victor is working with the goblins, but plot twist, no, he doesn't. Oh, That's trust me, for Tay, later. You don't, even know, you don't even know the half of it. Uh, Tio, 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 let me just put it. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know. I know. Let me just put it like this, Tio. Yes. Victor working with the goblins would have been immensely better than the twist just, that's coming I'll up. just say this to it. I'll just say this to it. I challenge you to come up with a more incompetently written villain than Victor. Because, and I'm going to get into details of why I think he's the most incompetently written villain ever in the work of fiction when we get to it. Because let's just say Victor is mind-boggling to me. How the hell Mark wrote this and thought, yeah, I'm going to go with this, is beyond if me. He is, is, he as, is he as bad as Shinzom from Star Trek Nemesis? No, worse. Because the problem with him is that um, he constantly kept delaying his plans for no good reason. Yeah, yes. however, Victor, believe it or not, manages to be even more stupid. And, I, I, and I'll get to it when it's relevant. Let's just say, Dwibs, I, I am... Let's just say, Dwibs, Mark should never write a story ever again. He should just... He's not good at it. I forgot, right. did he also worked on Jack 2? Yes, he did. Because the figure of Victor kinda slightly reminds well, me of Well, but he, he, he didn't Baron. write for that, uh, to, no, he was well, only a designer on that. Yeah, I, I think he co-wrote Jack 2. No, 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 I mean Jack no, 2. No, Jack 2. Oh, that's Jack, because yeah. the, the figure Jack, of Victor, Nack. despite uh, his terrible writing, as we will see, reminds me a bit of Baron Praxis from Jack 2. He's, uh, he, for Jack 2, too, he was a programmer and designer. Mm -hmm. So, no. Oh no, small robot. The writing, I, 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 I'm pretty sure the writers for Jack, uh, for the Jack trilogy were Jason and Andy. Okay. See? And there you go, that's yeah. kind of what Nack looks like when he's a bit bulkier. Oh, he can be even more bulkier than that. Wait till we no, get to the, I mean, to the yeah, but, you know, appearance-wise, I think he yeah. only has four forms. Uh, he just Three. gets... True. Like, there's basically Little Nack, Middle Nack, and Big Nack. And yeah. Big Nack has various sizes, basically. But it's oh no, it's the statue! Uh, no. It's the statue of... Uh... He's gonna explain. The yeah, next I know. Shit. Yep! Sorry. And here's the first problem of the writing right away. Um, like, the music... The sound music even played. Uh, Mark, I can't be sad because you don't even explain to me who the hell that woman even is. Honest, honestly, Bo Pedro, that, that's also another problem. I honestly thought that that woman was generally trying to be a comedic moment. Yeah, also, <laughs> I have... You know, really, you know, that's... No, the, the oh, fact so that the, so the story's... Is like, sorry. So this story's got an inconsistent tone as well. How nice. That too, but uh, what's interesting... Okay, Dwebs, I'll just... Uh, I'll, actually, no, cuts you. Never mind. I'll say that. I just have a question. Where is this taking place? I thought this was I Victor's property, character. but there's a statue of Charlotte, sorry, so it was sorry, just... Sorry, Jova. We will not go in See, depth about the lore of this world until the sequel. All. So, sorry. But you want him to come. And you want him to bring Nack. Mm. <laughs> Edwebs, hey, 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 Edwebs. Hey, I wonder if Victor has a hidden agenda. I don't know. I get this feeling for some reason. Because, uh, you know, Mark, you're, Mark is so surely, subtle with his writing, so... Surely you're jesting, Pedro. He looks completely sure. legit. Come on, Doc. So, yeah, it turns yeah, out... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Turns out Charlotte, the woman from the statue, that's Vic, the, the Dr. Vargas' wife, and she died 20 years ago. And as Ryder said, I wonder what... Uh, I wonder what Charlotte would think of Nack. You know... So, yeah, now that we're done testing, now all of them will go to the go to Goblin Country so they can try Sorry, to, you know, do some reconnaissance. Repel the horde. Hey, Doc. So, uh, so I get... Hold on, Bla clunk exposition. So Frankly, Ryder, it was oh, easy when he was younger. Now he wants to know how and why and debate everything. It's yeah, really stop asking right. questions. Uh, okay, and here's my first problem. I hate Dr. Vargas as a character. 
But oh, it will be more obvious later on. But here's the first problem yes. I have with him right in front of the bat. Just you and me, that man. statement that he just made. He always wants to know the hows and whys. Uh, doctor, a, that's a how a scientist, scientist works. The whole point of being a fucking scientist. <laughs> Also, also, did you did notice you... that for the entirety of the tutorial, Josh Keaton's character, that small kid, hasn't spoke a single word? Don't worry, well, Teo. Then... He'll have plenty to no, say. No, I, I the know. I know. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying Wait. that, you know, bad characterization or bad characterization pace. Oh, and here's another thing. Yeah, in order to travel, Knack yeah. will have to leave all those relics behind, I guess, on the ground and oh, move on. You know, the relics that power machines, so we're not even going to bring them around with us? Not, ju not just that. Like, uh, you're, you're so great, Nak. You're just leaving a pile of dirt behind so that the janitors have to clean up. And again, and again, and again. The story never explains why he's only able to talk when he has relics attached. Actually, he can't talk uh, in his current little form, uh, Jova. I know, I know, I, kn I know. Inside. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. He never speaks in his current That's form, the though, the well, way he well, is. Well, he, he never actually does talk miles. while in this particular little form. However, it's never ex it's never specifically Why stated in the game that he cannot evil. talk. So I'm just assuming it was just a matter of n it just didn't happen. More I like shouldn't Pedro. have to assume this sort of stuff. Pedro, yeah. question. Why what? did uh, the, the adventurous plane had rainbows around its motors? Because uh, it's hyper energy, uh, I guess. I don't Frantic know. Energy, of course. The forest. Oh, remember, relic powers everything in this game. Come on, Nick. So, uh, right. Victor, are we gonna bring uh, any of those? Like the... It sounds like they're saying Nick. So, Victor, we're gonna bring any of those robots to help us out? No. He actually, he actually is. Well, so, well, well, I know he is later, but not now. Like... All right, everybody. In the next game, the problems with next Max... Part. Yeah, next part, Sorry. whatever. In the next Sorry, part... Pedro, we're not getting to the better game just yet. <laughs> In the next part, everybody, you see for yourself just how easy it is to die against bugs of all things. Yep. It's like Pikmin, but deadly, I guess. Except Pikmin was fun. So, yeah. see you then. See you then. See ya.